we fight for your freedom to feel your emotions okay without having to have your manliness challenged mm. right we fight for your freedom to express how you feel like you want to express yourself coming from the existentialist thought ano ba yung purpose ng babae kaya yung mga tanong sa page diba what is the essence of being a woman I've been mm-hmm. revisiting books of Simone de Beauvoir. I'm not really that into her in terms of philosophical uh, yeah. thoughts. Niya. Yeah. But I'm with yung partner niya, si John Paul Sartre, uh, ah! more on the existentialism. She's a no Sartre's partner pala. Yeah. No? Doon nag-evolve yung thoughts niya about sa feminism. Nung binabasa ko kasi yung mga accounts ng feminism, mm. it's about how women can surpass men. Kumbaga may mga iba't ibang classifications ng feminism. And a yeah. lot of it is about kung paano magiging pantay yung man and woman. Yeah. Dun sa thoughts ni Simone de Beauvoir, rooting from existentialism, because the opposite of existentialism is essentialism. Uh, okay. For the longest time, we believe that humans have essence. So for example, itong baso. Ang yeah. essence ng baso is para saluhin yung tubig na to. Pag butas to, or kapag hindi siya mukhang baso, technically. Yeah, or if it doesn't, if it can't hold the water. Yeah. Hindi siya baso. Hindi siya ba- okay, yeah. get, so, yun yung essence ng baso. But, different case sa human beings. Philosophers and theologians have, you know, uh, they have this kind of belief na meron tayong essence as a human being. Right. Okay? So, for for like Christians and, you know, uh, other religious people, the essence of a human being is to to serve God. But, some people don't agree with that. Dito na papasok si Sartre. Well, rooting back kasi siya from the thoughts of Soren Kierkegaard. He's a Danish philosopher and a theologian. She I list- love theologians, by the way. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, oh. I love how they, I love that they study that. But as go on. Si Soren Kierkegaard, he's considered as the father of existentialism. Okay. <laughs> Napaka weird, di ba? He's one of those philosophers na kahit na Christian siya, he believed yung existence natin precedes essence. Well, that quote is from Sartre. Sa kanya nanggaling yung thought na we don't necessarily have that kind of purpose we make our own purpose in life despite being a christian that's what he yeah. said ah, okay, so that's medyo cool. medyo na bash ng mga danish priest before right like, right oh uh, uh, talagang minamak siya ganun and remember that's what i said to you also before another one of our conversations so parang i have a lot of respect not necessarily more mm-hmm. or better respect okay. but i have a lot of respect for religious or spiritual or faithful people who are able to question their faith mm-hmm. and beliefs it's not necessarily like a toxic thing but like you're able to or you're willing to look at the other side and open your mind and still decide that you know this is the belief for me so yeah. it's pretty cool that he did that well i don't know to each his own i guess but mm-hmm. it's There, I have respect for people. Like I'm talking about the recorded history. Nitong, mm-hmm. Itong mga 1700s to 1800s. Yan yung time ng ano na eh, papunta na ng age of reason, kung tawagin, or age right. of enlightenment. So, doon na nagkakaroon ng power yung scientific discoveries, mm-hmm. and nagkakaroon na ng parang slight revolution yung mga tao before religious people yung nagkahandle ng mga right. truths. Right, right. It, so, it was so rigid kasi before it, uh, diba? So, that's yeah. when... That's when feminism was born. Meron ng earlier accounts ng yeah 1700s tama mm. 16 actually. Going back to that kind of existentialist thought uh-uh. na inadapt ni ni Simon. Uh-uh. Doon niya na isip na isulat yung the second sex na book. Ah yeah, okay. yeah you're telling me about this. Papa simplihin ko na lang. Ang argument don is the goal of feminism is not to be at par to men. Yeah. So more like ibang sex kasi yung women. What she's saying is you have to compare apples to apples and comparing men to women is like comparing apples to oranges. Kind. Yeah. Malawak yon, but it's one of the arguments. Basically, that's one uh, of the. Ano, well, okay. yan yung isa sa mga gist. And that's why she calls it the second sex. Is yeah. Because if you're. Tr- okay, gets, gets, gets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, dahil nga, yun nga, coming from the existentialist thought, ano ba yung purpose ng babae? Kaya yung mga tanong sa pageant, di ba? What is the essence of being a woman? So, parang natatamaan yun sa existential <laughs> thought. Okay, ano nga okay. bang ng babae? Okay. Diba? That question now, <laughs> after this conversation, conversation? has changed for me because uh, <laughs> i remember when i first heard it i was like what does this mean i don't Uh-oh. understand that so ibig sabihin kung hindi ka nagkakaanak hindi ka babae uh-uh. ganun ba yun so yun yung kinokontra ni Simone de Beauvoir uh-uh. so true, parang, true true yeah, you as a woman you have the freedom to make your own path in life mm. you have to make your own essence yeah. so rooting siya sa existentialism uh-uh. and that's what i believe in because we were mm. so since this is the feminism tayo today diba mm-hmm. and i remember 
kanina outside when you're we talking about it you're just like so for this episode do you want to do like w- the different kinds of feminism right is that what yeah, you were yeah. saying uh-huh. and then uh-huh. i said we can also talk about what is feminism for us mm-hmm. like personal because yeah. that i guess if you're looking for like the root of things that's okay. where the root of the different kinds of feminism would come from okay because if there are different kinds of feminism then they would have come from what feminism means to whoever person that started that kind of feminism yeah jumping off of Simone de Beauvoir, Beauvoir yeah, right? de Beauvoir. Mm. Um, you're free to choose your own essence. Yeah. That's what feminism is to Do me. You. Okay. Like there are some people who like for example men. Okay. Uh, some men, not all, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some men would be like, well, you know, you're a feminist, right? Don't you want to be like strong, independent and and all these things blah 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 like yeah. uh, open your own door or mm-hmm. you want to get on the no. like drive yourself to work blah 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 build your own roads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like it's that's not the point of feminism at least for me. No. The okay. point of feminism for me is that you're free to choose. I didn't even know that Simone de Beauvoir said yeah. that. I relate to that okay. even more now. Yeah. You're free to choose your own path. So if you want to be a stay-at-home mom, mm. not work, um, you want to raise your kids, if you feel like that's your purpose to be a mother, go. Right? If you feel yeah. like your Correct. purpose is to be like a CEO of a company without children, do that. Yeah. Oh. You know, um, do what makes you happy because there are also women on, on the flip side who are just like, they would look down on women who who would be like that's all you want to do don't you want to achieve things in life like why are you making them feel bad about the things that makes them happy yeah, yeah. so oh. that's that's feminism to me is the ability to ch- the freedom not the ability we all have the ability to choose but the freedom to follow that path that we've chosen yeah. without expectations from other people let's say that i want to live a childless life let's say lang okay i want to be able to live that without the pressure or expectation to have kids because i'm a woman mm. diba? or let's say i want to have a big family and i want to stay home and raise them by myself this these are like very polar uh, examples yeah. very black and white right but let's just use that for the sake of this argument yeah so i want to be a wife stay at home mom i feel like that's my purpose i don't want other women and then to say na is that all you want like the pressure to be more than that like what if that is my more yeah diba minsan kasi sa loob din ng i mean like meron nang ang ano eh meron nang ang polarizing uh, differences from from men and women tas sa loob pa mismo ng mga kababaihan meron May pang may ganun uh, like it's normal it is normal <clears throat> and even with men diba that happens yeah. then um oh, speaking of that like uh, one of the things that i said also earlier is about what feminism means to you and also i want to i want to delve into what or like how feminism helps everyone yeah. it's not just for women it's it was probably called feminism because that's how it started yeah uh-huh. you know what i mean mm, like it mm. is for the betterment of women yeah yeah but like things evolve things don't stay the same way when did feminism start mm, if i have to be accurate wala kasi notes ko but i'm i'm trying to Good. think like <laughs> siguro mga ano late 1600s to pa 1700s oh, parang ganun meron yung mga earlier accounts so oh. matagal na yon diba okay. 1600s uh-huh. man that's that's been a long time uh-huh. we can't expect feminism to remain the same what it is what its essence is right before the essence of feminism was to raise women up because we were really um second class citizens yeah diba na parang you're not even allowed to own anything um you're not i, I watched little women last night okay have you seen that movie? Oh, you should it's nice okay. there's an old one before and then with winona Ryder, they did they did a remake anyway okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. so there's a part there where florence Pugh's character talks about what it's like being a woman okay. and in the context of marriage like marriage is on economic uh proposition okay. for the woman because you can't own anything if you earn money that's not even your money that's your husband's money if you have children it's not your children it's they're your husband's children yeah. mm. so 
the purpose and the use of feminism back then when it was born was to help raise women up from that to show the world that yo we're human we should have the same rights as other humans right. as other men humans mm. right? and now that we've we've understood that things are different now women are are allowed to own to vote to vote yeah. to, and all these things right so we can't keep that essence in the same way now we need to raise you know women are still oppressed yes but yeah. it's it's evolved to include other things yes. already yes, yes. Ba? it's mm-hmm. not just that for the longest time then kasi kaya naging patriarchy rin yung not that it's theologians and philosophers fault no pero they they based din kasi sa biological differences before ng mga tao. Siyempre, maka-account din doon yung strengths nung, yes. yung differences ng strengths ng babae at lalaki. Yeah. And dadagdagan pa natin ng like Abrahamic religions. <clears throat> yeah. Christianity, Islam. May diba? strepsils ako gusto mo. <laughs> ako gusto ko. It's my favorite flavor. I don't want to sound like I'm blaming ah. Sinasabi ko lang yung ano, historical background and I'm glad that's evolving. So, Except for pre-colonial Philippines actually. Yeah, Patriarchal uh, tayo. Kasama din kasi doon yung figurative representation ni Adam and Eve. Nandun yung notion na dapat ang men ang magpaprotekta sa women mm. which is good uh, kahit naman uh, kahit naman in-entertain ko yung thought ng feminism mm. may ganun na akong thinking na that's okay alam, yeah. <laughs> to want oh. to protect someone you love is normal and it's I don't feel like it's because of like man or woman like I want to protect my boyfriend yeah diba? and mm. I won't hold it against him if he feels like he wants to protect me isa rin yun bakit sinulat ni Simone de Beauvoir yung the second sex kasi philosophy graduate din siya sa France nakita niya yung accounts ng mga philosophers na parang laging male centric laging mm. ina-account as man every man is ganto ganyan bakit walang woman i know i think we can't blame our society for falling into gender roles uh, because it's something that we are used to um i'm not saying it's something to be condoned i'm also i'm not saying that parang okay lang yan ganyan talaga yan i'm just saying that As a factually, this is just something that we're used to. That's why we have gender roles because we got used to women doing this and men doing that. Okay. And according to Jordan Peterson, which you were surprised that oh, I that I listened oh. to, and we'll get into that in just a bit because it's perfect. Ano sa feminism? Yeah. A topic not in today. Medyo ano ne? Opposing as people would think. Yeah. Oh. According to Jordan Peterson, the reason why men there are more men in let's say engineering. And more women in nursing hmm? is because of how differently our brains are wired. That what did you do? Wait, lang. Bago kayo magalit. No, baska. This is just what I'm not saying that this is fact. I'm just saying that this is what he said, and it was an interesting side note. This is why I'm I'm saying this because I like listening to other people. Yeah, me too. Deba, right? and I like listening to what they're saying i'll be like okay why does he think this way doesn't automatically mean i'm gonna take it as fact let's say what jordan peterson said was fact let's say lang mm. men are more preconceived no no no. this preconceived is not the word it's more <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> for men and women women are more likely to to care about people And men are more likely to care about things. Okay. So this is not a generalization that men only care about things and women are the ones who care for people. It's just a more likely. Okay. It's a statistical statement. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just so happens. We're not saying that this is what they're supposed to do and it's a gender role thing. You have to stick to it. When it comes to gender roles, we still stick to. I think it's just because of that. Like the reason why men are more likely to be engineers or that's why there are more men in engineering is because that's just what they're interested in okay mm-hmm. and women although there there are women who are like that many intelligent amazing powerful women who do go into engineering and succeed and all these things and they belong there obviously it just so happens that there are more women who want to care for people they have that instinct okay mm-hmm. to care for people that's why more women are in nursing okay yeah So I'm not justifying. Uh, it's just me stating it factually, okay. and I feel like that's what Jordan Peterson does. Also, I'm mm-hmm. not. I'm not saying like, oh my god, I'm such a fan. But I I listen to him. Mm-hmm. I listen to what he has to say, 
without okay. judging him. Okay, I don't okay. actively go out and search Jordan Peterson, ganito, ganyan. Yung familiarity ko kay Jordan Peterson is not like, you know, how other guys would think na parang lagi ko siyang pinapanood. It's not like that. Pero nakilala ko siya nung nagkaroon sila ng debate ni Slavoj Zizek. He's a ah, okay. Slovenian philosopher. I don't know who he is, but yeah. okay, go. Psychologist din kasi si, ano, eh, si Jordan, Jordan Peterson, Peterson yeah. from what I know. I know he's a him. professor, eh, the yeah, bar, professor Dr. And, Jordan, something like that. Yeah. So I think yung basis kasi nung sinasabi niya about roles is rooting back to evolutionary psychology. Kaya siya may ganong stand is because rooting yun dun sa time na yung mga lalaki or yung mga hunters ta- kami daw yung nasa field na mm. nag-hunt for our food sa family family's food. Yeah. And yung mga babae naman daw yung mga... The ones who stay to take care uh, of. to take care. I... I... <clears throat> But um, that's what I mean with Jordan Peterson when he says these things. He's not saying it because he wants to keep women in their place. Yeah. Um, as a lot of people are are misconstruing his intentions. I feel ha. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just saying it as like it's again. It's a statistical statement. He's just saying, well, these are the statistics. Did you know that um, ball pythons who are bred in captivity, okay. for example, my snake Percy. Mm-hmm. Um, ball pythons who were bred in captivity, when they are scared, um, they curl up into a ball and hide their heads. Okay. And um, they also like to climb. So they're above ground. They okay. they are in a safe space, especially when it's raining. Mm-hmm. Um, especially, and they, they burrow as well. These This is the nature of the snake, right? And they know this. Uh, this is what they do in the wild. Okay. But why does Percy still do that? He's never been in the wild. Because it's something, it's like an evolutionary yeah. sort of echo. Okay. This is something that all ball pythons have done for a long time. Yeah. And it's something that is already parang in their brain. Yeah. So when it comes to women having, um, or like there, there being more women in people jobs or, or healthcare jobs and things like that, and then there being more men in, you know, jobs like... Again, engineering or construction. Yeah. It's not because that's where they belong. Yeah. Like I said, it's just that's what we got used to. Yes. Doesn't mean we can't change. It doesn't mean women don't belong in engineering. Like I said, it doesn't mean men don't belong in nursing. It's just that's just what we got used to. Yes. Diba? It's something that is innate. Eh. For example, yun nga, going back to dun sa evolutionary wirings ng male and female. Yeah. Fem- bawal ba sabihin yung female? <laughs> 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 um, so pa yun, I don't. It's that something that doesn't matter to me. But yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm just showing people that <laughs> Hindi. It's okay for you to yeah. tell the word female. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> what about you for males? For males, <laughs> wala na katawa lang. Ang naisip ko talaga CR, kasi male. Female. Male. Uh, Ay, ako yun. din. Anyway, yun yung um hindi naman nga kasi siya like yun lang yung limitations ng girl. It's mm. more like dun nag excel yung women. Based on biological, yeah, uh, and, evolutionary, and standards. statistically, it's just it doesn't mean men cannot do it. It's just yeah, statistically, oh. there happens to be more women who are in jobs where they need to care for people. That's of course, it. Yeah, yeah. I I just have to correct myself, no, because parang pag sinabi kung dun sila nag-excel, it's not that I'm limiting them to that kind of job. Gagamitin natin yung argument ng evolution. I I need to jump this in before we lose it. Tra- Mabilis tayo magisip eh. Hmm. Um, you're when you said. You're not saying that that's the only thing that they're good at, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah. side note, jumping off of that, I have a friend who is a musician, okay. and he was talking about like, parang I need to, I forget the exact conversation, but he said he needed to really become good uh, or like get more gigs, or he needs to concentrate on his music because it's the only thing he's good at. He mm-hmm. said, because he's a musician, it's the only thing I'm good at. Eh. And he didn't say that as like a, you know, and- he's. Mm-hmm. crapping on himself kind of thing is the only thing I'm good at. He just said it like matter of fact. He's like, well, that's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> nah, yeah, well, and I said, probably jokingly. Uh-oh. 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 And I said, no, 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 no. Don't use that wording. It's not the only thing you're good at. It's what you're best at. Because uh-huh. you can do many things. You're good at many things. Uh-huh. But music is what you're best at. Uh-huh. That's it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yun nga, yung evolution. Kasi yung mga women before, um, sila yung nag nurture sa mga bata sa sanggol. Yes. So, mas intuitive sila. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, they're best at that. Kaya kung mapapansin mo, pag kunari, pag umiyak yung sanggol, ang unang nakakaalam ng needs ng sanggol is yung nanay. 
Yeah. Rather than yung tatay. And it's I more feel, of an evolutionary trait. Correct. And I feel like a lot of people get, it's in our nature. They they get offended when when people say that. Na parang it's in the woman's nature to know this and all these things. Because it's like, okay, what if there's a woman who's not innately mothering? So that's, does that mean it goes against the nature? It's not that. Mm. You know, it's in the same sense that there there are men who are not innately hunters. Yeah, oh. Diba? Parang, oh, tingnan mo naman yung physique ko. <laughs> I have bigger like muscles than this guy. Eh. <laughs> oh. But like... Baka pag nagsuntungan tayo, matalo mo pa ako. Totoo <laughs> yun. <laughs> that's what I'm saying is like, going back to like feminism, right? I feel, to me, feminism is... Um, n- it helps so many other... Uh, it what do you call this? It is beneficial across the board. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Feminism for me is beneficial across the board because when when women or females, because feminism, mm-hmm. are elevated to match the same opportunities and rights as men, yeah. then that means the same goes for men also. Mm. In in that sense, it becomes all equal. So my example earlier about how feminism helps men is it battles toxic masculinity, mm. right? Yeah. So when you think about it, feminists don't only just fight for women. Okay. We fight for you guys too. Mm. We fight for your freedom to feel your emotions Okay. without having to have your manliness challenged Mm. right we fight for your freedom to express how you feel like you want to express yourself okay in in dress in painting your nails in dyeing your hair in getting a piercing that's under feminism also yeah right and even and i'm going to put a trigger warning here for people who I'm going to talk about something very sensitive. Uh, feminism also covers um, the defense of men who are sexually taken advantage of, okay. right? Who have become victims of, number one, domestic abuse. There are so many men out there who are victims of not just domestic abuse, but um, sexual abuse um, at the hands of women and men also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And not to mention the children. Okay. The boys and the girls, when female students okay. are taken advantage of by their male professors, mm-hmm. right? Um, people freak out. Mm. That man should be sent to jail and not this. Mm. But when young male students are taken advantage of by older female teachers, yeah. What is the response? But you have, ka pa. Ay, you uh-huh. have men in the comment section going, uh-huh. "Wow, she's hot, uh-huh. lucky okay, guy. Right. I wish that were me." Yeah, uh-huh. and this kid is probably traumatized, right? Yes. What's wrong with me? This kid's probably traumatized, uh-huh. um, and you know, seeing this kind of reaction to that kind of news, it makes it will tend to make men afraid to speak up about their own abuse hmm. because the. The response to that is always, man up, suck it up, be a man. Parang, she's a gorgeous woman. Any man would love to be in your position, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's it's very dismissive. Feminism fights for the importance of male trauma also. But you know what I love about mm. about that also is you are not afraid to ask. Yeah. Oh. You ask me stuff all the time. That's what I feel like something that maybe needs to be adjusted because we are so trigger happy when it comes to our righteous anger. Yeah, right. Yeah. Of course, we, we've been oppressed for such a long time. It's, it's totally understandable. But I just personally, I feel like people who don't know any better would be more open to asking and learning if mm. they weren't made to feel like they're stepping on eggshells all the time. Yeah. Whoever's watching, comment, comment lang dyan. Yes. If, uh, if you have any thoughts or whatever. About feminism. Mm. Yeah.